In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to purchase and install the NEX CS2 cheat. So first off, if you guys do want to purchase this menu, you're going to head over to wickedgamers.com, which will be down in the description down below. You're going to head over to your mod menu section here. You're going to go to CS2 cheats. Once you get to this page here, you're going to hit NEX CS2. You can purchase either a month or a three month key. Say you want to purchase a three month key, you're just going to hit purchase here. Uh, just wait for this to load. You're going to enter in your email as well as a discount code. You guys can use discount code Luciano to get 5% off. Make sure when you guys do enter in your email above, you do make sure you type it in correctly. I've had so many people type it in wrong and then they complain why they haven't gotten their key. Make sure you type it in correctly and then you're just going to hit continue to payment once you do so. It's going to ask if you want the OVIX mod menu for GTA 5 uh, at a discounted price. You don't have to add it if you don't want it. So it's, it's selected no automatically, but if you do want it, you guys can get it. Uh, just, you're just going to enter in your uh, credit card information here uh, and you're going to complete your order. Once you guys do so, you are going to receive an email that looks just like this. It's going to say send all downloads and your order number and whatnot. As you guys can see, this is what your email is going to look like once you guys open it. For example, it says NEX 14 day key. Uh, it has your order number and your license key right down below. Once you guys do receive your uh, license key in your email, you're going to head over to the NEX.GG website. You're going to go to your register section here, and this is where you are going to have to create an account. You're going to have to enter in your username. You're going to have to enter in an email and a password. And once you guys do so, you're just going to go to your login page. As you guys can see, I do have an account now. I am logged in. Uh, to redeem your key, you're going to go over to NEX.GG slash redeem dash key. I will also leave this in the description down below. And this link is also inside of your uh, download link right here. So if you guys go to this link, uh, that's going to be in your email. It will also redirect you to this redeem page. What you guys are going to do is go over to your email. You guys are just going to copy your key right here and you're going to go over to your nex.gg slash redeem key. You're going to paste in your key that should look just like this. You're going to hit your redeem button. As you guys can see, it says, thank you for purchasing our product. Please read carefully uh, the tutorial to inject our CS2 cheat. So as you guys can see here, you can just click this button right here. Uh, and as you can see, it says, you know, thank you for purchasing, how to download and whatnot. This basically tells you how to download everything. I will show you everything. Uh, but once you guys do get to this page, obviously you're going to download the loader. So you're going to go to this mega.nz folder. Before you guys download anything, make sure your antivirus software is turned off. You guys are going to want to head over to Windows Security. You can do so by searching, uh, by typing your Windows key and you type in uh, Windows Security. Uh, once you get to this page here, you're going to go to virus and threat protection. You're going to go to manage settings. Once you get to this page, you're just going to turn off real time protection. You're going to hit yes on that pop up. Uh, you guys can also uh, make an exclusion if you'd like to do so. But the file does have to be downloaded first, which would require real time protection to be off. So once you guys head over back to this website, you can hit download and then download as a zip. You're going to wait for this to download. It might take a little bit. It's right here. As you can see, you can see the progress of the file. Once you guys do get to this zip file, you are going to have to hit extract all up here and then you can just hit extract. And then as you guys can see, the extracted version is right here. It's not in a zipped folder. You guys can delete the old one as you don't need it. If you guys are having trouble with extracting. Make sure you do have 7-zip downloaded. It's basically a zip extractor. It's 7-zip.org. But uh, once you guys get to this page, as you can see the loader, you're just going to double click it again. As you guys can see, the NEX loader is right here. Now, as this is an external CS2 cheat, before you guys do anything else, don't open the loader, don't do anything yet. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you do want to make sure that your in-game overlay is activated via the GeForce Experience app, or what's now known as the NVIDIA app or whatever, they just updated it. Uh, so to do so for NVIDIA graphics cards, you're gonna go to the NVIDIA app or GeForce Experience. You're gonna hit this little Alt-Z option up here. As you can see, and this is the overlay. It is working. This is open. This is all you have to do for NVIDIA graphics card users. Uh, now, if you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card uh, and you have like an AMD card, you are going to have to download Metal, uh, which is Metal.TV. As you guys can see here, just make sure this is downloaded and that is all you have to do. Uh, but like I said, for a majority of NVIDIA users, all you have to have is the uh, overlay open, which is pretty easy to do. Also, if you guys do have any other issues, make sure you do have Faceit Anti-Cheat Uninstalled, ESEA, and Vanguard, as those could give you some issues. Alrighty, guys, now when you get to the injection process of this cheat, like I said, make sure your uh, Alt-Z NVIDIA overlay is open or Metal is open. What you're now going to want to do is open up Steam in the background, and then this is where you're going to open up the loader, which you have downloaded. So what you're going to want to do is double click this loader. You're going to hit more info and you're going to hit run anyway. Once you get to this page, you're going to hear a little boom. You're going to hit yes on that. And then you are going to have to log in with your NEX.GG login. 
Alrighty guys, as you guys can see, I do have my information typed in here. I'm gonna hit login. As you can see, it just says logging in. You're gonna wait for this to finish and you are gonna select the premium version of the cheat, which is the left side. This is the free one, this is the premium. Make sure you have this one selected. Uh, have use driver mode turned on and then you can have full screen mode turned on if you would like as well. What you're now gonna wanna do is hit load software. As you can see, it says loading software. If you guys do get a driver error like I just did, run this bat file real quick. Uh, it says run as admin. So what you're gonna wanna do is right click this and hit run as admin. You're gonna hit yes on that pop-up. As you can see, it says checking for admin. Good job. Uh, you know what admin is. The operation was completed successfully. Now you're gonna wanna just open up the loader one more time. You're gonna hit load software. If you guys do have any issues with loading this software, if you get any driver errors or whatnot, and you can't seem to fix the issue, and uh, you tried contacting any X support, uh, which they do link to Discord either on the website or in this file, you can just turn off use driver and you can hit load software and this should work anyway. As you guys can see, you do hear a beep. It says waiting for game. Once it does say waiting for game, you are gonna have to launch Counter-Strike 2. So you're just gonna hit play on Steam uh, and then you're just gonna wait for that to open and this should uh, finish up for you anytime soon. Alrighty guys, once you guys do load in game, we should see something that looks just like this. It says game found important. Press OK once the game is loaded into the main menu. As you can see, we are in the main menu, so we're going to hit OK. And then as you can see, it says uh, hijacking handle successful. And then it says this, enable experimental rendering, only recommended for people with low cheat FPS. I'm going to turn this off because I don't have that issue. So I'm just going to hit no. Uh, if you do have issues, you can turn that on uh, if you would like. As you guys can see, the menu does open uh, by default. To open and close this menu, you are going to press insert on your keyboard uh, to basically open this up. Moving over to your actual menu itself, you do have your legit settings here uh, where you have your aimbot, basically for any weapon that you do select. Starting off with your op, obviously you do have your scout, AK, SMGs, uh, your eagle it looks like, and then your pistols. Um, you can basically enable your aimbot. You can send a key bind if you would like to do so. You have your visibility check, flash check, show FOV, closest hitbox, or you can make it, you know, head, neck, or chest. Whatever you may prefer, you can basically do. You can also change the FOV of this as well as your smoothing. Uh, you have a recoil script per se, where you can basically, uh, you know, have a recoil script. Trigger bot as well, if you enable this, you can also bind that to a key. You can have your delay. You also have your flash check if you're flashed. If you, uh, you know, somebody throws a flashbang at you, you don't want to shoot somebody because uh, you will get called out pretty quick. Trigger aim as well. If you want to enable that, you can do so. Like I said, you can have it uh, set for globally. So it works on every single weapon or you can, you know, customize individual weapons to your liking. Moving on to your visual section here. These are basically like your wall hacks per se or your uh, ESP, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you can basically enable this for your players. You do have a preview section here if you want to see what it looks like in real time. Uh, you do have your enable. You can also enable your name. You can also change the color of this, which, you know, you can do right here to whatever color you may prefer. If you want to make it, you know, blue or whatever, you can basically do that. You can also insert a hex if you would like to do so to uh, um, load in a custom color, which you prefer. You can enable your box as well if you want that. Uh, you can do your corner box as well as your box fill if you want to do that. So if you want to, you know, have a full box and you want it filled, you can uh, enable your health as well, as well or your health bar. Uh, you can override the health color if you want to make it, you know, white, for example. I don't know why you would do that, but you can. Uh, you do have your armor as well, which is your armor bar. You don't really need that, but you can have it if you want. You can also see what weapon they're using. Weapon icon as well, if you want to have that. You can also enable your skeleton, uh, your head circle as well, as your sound ESP which will basically work if you hear them. It'll show you where they are based on sound. Uh, you can have your sound time as well as your oof circles. I'm not really sure what the fuck that is, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, you do have your world visuals as well. For example, your bomb info, uh, which is right over here. Uh, your bomb location, which will show you, you know, where the bomb is planted, whether it's on A site or B site. Dropped weapons if you want to have your ESP onto that as well. You can also have your projectile slash nade uh, trails if you want to enable that as well as on your chickens. I don't know why you would have that on, but you can. You do have enable radar, which is on your top left as well, which will basically show you where enemies are. Um, you can change the border color. The, you can enable um, the radar itself, which I already said, but you can change the actual color of this. Um, you can render on the in-game radar as well if you'd like to do so. You can also enable your player dots. Uh, you can also override the color of that. You can have your team dots as well to show your actual teammates. 
Uh, you can also show dropped weapons as well as nades on the radar as well if you'd like to do so, which is pretty cool. Disc options here, you have a watermark here, as you can see on the top right hand side of the screen. Uh, you can also override the color of that. Spectate list right here, as you can see, to see when, you know, say you're in a 1v1 and you have like five people spectating you. You want to be a little more legit. This helps to see, um, you know, who's spectating you at, you know, what time. Uh, team check as well. Uh, like I said, you do have your hit marker as well if you want to have hit markers. You can also have hit marker sounds, which they do uh, provide you with a few, which is kind of cool. Uh, web radar as well. If you enable this, you can basically get a link to a radar, which you can give to your friends. So if they pull this up on their browser, for example, let me just copy this link. I'll open it in my browser. As you can see, I'm just going to close the menu real quick. It says waiting to receive data from the CS2 cheat. So basically you send them this link up here uh, and once you do load into a game this whole screen will be your radar that they can see on their screen you can load this on your smartphone your fucking smart fridge whatever you want this will work uh which whatever device has an internet connection this will work which is pretty unique um and honestly i haven't seen anything like it yet but moving on here custom crosshairs as well if you want to have any of those you can do it only with snipers as well for example your ops or whatnot grenade helper here you can uh have a nade list if you want to you know have a list of nade um placements that you have saved you can do so uh you can also you know have your render options like your max render distance positioning throw nade nade type you have your aim lines and whatnot honestly i don't use this because i don't really care for it and if i do need to know nade placements i pretty much know them already um but like i said you do you you use it if you want to use it configs here as well if you want to save or load different configs you can basically do so in this section global settings here you do have your in-game sensitivity you can also emulate your mouse from kernel you do have your stream proof as well uh, if you want to make it stream proof you can also enable vsync windows 11 needs this off apparently um you also have your max frame rate as well if you want to set a max frame rate your menu key bind if you want to change how you open up the menu you can basically change it with this option here lastly you do have snake which is a fucking game you can play as you can see if you guys haven't played snake you're missing out man look oh i missed oh i died come on you basically just go around and you get the little green apples per se they're not really apples in here but you know give me go you make yourself bigger dude i'm kind of cracked at this i don't know oh uh, i don't know about that i retract that statement no what the fuck am I doing, bro? Like I said, that is basically how you set up this menu, how you install it, and how the menu looks. Uh, if you guys do want to pick up this menu, link in the description, wickedgamers.com. Use code Luciano for 5% off. That actually is going to be it for this video, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.